Hello, beautiful, welcome to the game show where I answer your questions. Today I have a beautiful glitter bucket that I just made because I have a lot of glitter laying around my house and I thought why not put it to use and make a beautiful question mark glitter uh, bucket. So I asked you on Twitter what hair myths you've heard and wondered if they were true or not. So today your tweets are in here. And I'm gonna answer that. So we're gonna put two baskets here on the screen. One is gonna be for myths that are proven to be true. They are true. The other one is gonna be myths that are definitely not true and just are, are just myths. They're no, they're stupid. They're dumb. Okay, great. You get the plot. That's an easy game. Let's play it. When I was reading through these questions earlier before putting them in here, I did notice that some of these are not actually provable. I'd say 50 50. 50% 50 of them are answerable with scientific proof, and 50% of them are not. And it's just going to be my opinion alone. I will give you all the hairdresser knowledge I have. I've been asked every single one of these questions by one of my clients at some point in my life, and a lot of this is going to be my opinion. So, if you guys have differing opinions, that is okay, because everybody in this world has opinions, okay? Sometimes some people forget that, but I don't. Let's do it. Okay, let's dig in and feast on these questions. <laughs> First question is from Layla. She says, cutting your split ends makes your hair grow. All right, Layla. Well, I'm glad you asked that question with a period. So basically what happens when your hair breaks at the end, it's like that, you know? And then it continues to break up if you don't first cut that end off and make it blunt again. So yes, sort of makes your hair grow. I think you meant to say, does it make your hair grow faster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say yes and no. It makes your hair grow faster in the way that it doesn't keep splitting up. If you have very fragile ends, your hair may break off from brushing or just being aggressive with your hair. It's never good to have really fragile ends. So if you do cut it, it does end up having more of a blunt edge to it, which ends up making your hair look much thicker and fuller and kind of, yeah, it does result, I guess, in it growing faster in a way. Hope that answered that question properly. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the true basket. Boop, that is a true myth, which makes it not a myth, it's a fact. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, next question. It's the same question from a different person. Great, true basket. Okay, does brushing your hair every day make it grow faster? This is from Grayson's girl. Okay, Grayson's girl. Uh, I'd say yes, because first of all, I'd recommend brushing your hair with a boar bristle brush, natural brush. Natural bristles are way better at distributing oils around your hair. So when the oil is brushed from your scalp, because your scalp has the most oil on it, it is brushing the oil down to your ends and your natural oils are the best for your hair. Also, when you brush your hair, it stimulates blood in your scalp and stimulates hair growth. So let's put that in the true, that is not a myth, that is true. Let's put that in the true jar, okay? True basket, whatever it is, I don't know. Ooh, there we go. Okay, next question, not that one. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one, because I personally wondered this and did a lot of research on this in the past. Can split ends be repaired? This is from a girl named Shelby. Hey, Shelbs. This is a definitely mm, controversial subject within the hair world, because no, my answer to this is no, hair cannot be repaired once it is damaged. You can help it not be damaged by using products such as Olaplex or anything else like that that multiplies bonds as you lighten the hair. I hope that's the right science behind it. I'm really bad at science. But once the hair is dead, you cannot bring it back to life. Hair is already dead skin. You can't bring something dead back to life when it's already dead. So when you kill it more, you can't resurrect it. I'm sorry, I know, I wish you could. Also, little side note, I, I did learn this in a hair class by another guy teaching and I was astonished by it. This was the coolest thing I ever heard in a while. I always thought you could actually repair hair with say a hair mask or anything like that, but you actually can't. And he showed us a lot of diagrams. I wish I had them for you, but say there's a crack right here. You can put a bandaid over it, say with a hair mask or oil or anything like that. And it can appear healthy and not damaged anymore. But right when you rinse that off, right when you shampoo it off, it is gonna go back to the same state it was before you did the conditioning treatment. But conditioning treatments do help the appearance and does make it look a lot damn better. So that is, yes, in fact, a myth. Our first myth of the night. Woo! You can't repair split ends 
once they're split. And now I realize that I didn't quite answer that question. I answered the question of can damaged hair be repaired? But she said, can split ends be repaired? Yeah, you can you can cut them. But I'm gonna put this in the myth jar just because I answered a different question. That question was a myth. Great, awesome. Hope that made sense. Bye. <laughs> This question is from Caitlin. Does massaging your scalp really help your hair grow? This kind of goes back to our other question with brushing your hair. Yes, stimulates blood circulation, which stimulates hair growth. So yes, Caitlin, it does. Into the truth jar. Does lemon juice actually lighten hair? Yes, it does. I don't know the scientific facts behind it and I tried to Google it and there was nothing to find. So yes, it does. Don't know how. I'm guessing because it's acidic and something to do with acid and sun, it reacts and lightens your hair. But wouldn't recommend it because it'll turn your hair orange. But yes, that is in fact a true myth. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving on. Anissa asked quite the opposite of the question we, we heard earlier, that brushing your hair every day is actually bad for your hair. No, unless you're aggressively brushing it. No, wait, that's not bad for your hair. They're, I don't get that. No, that is a myth. Shampooing makes your hair shed. Okay, first of all, it is normal to lose hair while shampooing. You are supposed to lose 50 to 200 hairs a day, according to science. That seems like a little low. I feel like you should, you definitely lose a lot of hair every day. That is completely normal. Your hair falls out, new ones grow back. It's just how life is. I wish we could keep them all in our head all the time, but no. Shampooing specifically, no, but usually your hair becomes loose, falls out, and then something in your hair, maybe oil, makes it kind of attached to another strand. And then when you shampoo it, it just probably breaks it off that other strand. And that's why you feel like your hair probably is coming out a lot when you're shampooing. But no, shampoo specifically doesn't make your hair fall out. So that is a myth. Bye. I have so many questions. Let's see if I can get through. Miranda says, can anything actually change the speed of your hair growth at all? And do coffee tea rinses help hair health? I believe that changing your diet to just live a healthy lifestyle, make sure you exercise, drink a lot of water. I know this is like everything everybody always hears, but that is how I believe that you can grow your hair faster and thicker and fuller. Just being healthy from the inside. Stop trying to put things on the outside. Everything starts from in here. So if you have a healthy inside, most likely your hair will be much nicer on the outside and much shinier and much healthier. People will definitely notice the difference. So so, and then the other question was, does coffee tea rinses help the hair? I honestly can't answer that question because I have never heard of that, those before. I don't even know what that is. This is more of a question, but we're gonna put it in the true that yes, things can speed up your hair growth. Healthiness can, boom. There we go, bye. Okay, next, Amber asks, if a ponytail is too tight, then your hair will start to fall out. Are you referring to a video I made about somebody? <laughs> Amber. Uh, yes. Yes, that's true. Because there is a thing called tension alopecia. Hair is stretchy. If you pull it off your head and stretch it out a little bit, it is definitely very stretchy. Well, not very stretchy, but it is, it's stretchy. When you put a ponytail in all the time and you have these, the front hairline is always the finest hair on your head. When you pull those back tight, you're pulling that hair past the point and it ends up breaking. And that is why you end up with your hair falling out from wearing ponytails. So yes, true basket. That's a true myth. It's a fact, it's a fact. Okay, this question I got a lot. Miley says, braiding your hair makes them grow faster. I heard this as a child and I have no clue if it's true or not. I have never heard of this before. I don't know why, I don't know what the reason would be for it to grow faster in braids. I mean, that literally makes no sense besides like, maybe you style it less, maybe use less heat on your hair if you have it in braids all the time. I think that's where it kind of came from maybe. If you just style it without using heat and anything like that, then yeah, probably it'll grow faster, but I'm gonna put that in the myth basket because it's just, I don't know. That's just weird. I don't get that. This, no, 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 bye. Okay, next. Trimming your hair makes it grow faster. I put that in true. Oh, this is a good one. Isabella says, rinsing your hair with cold water makes it shinier. So I know what my own answer is for this. It's total BS, but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna read off somebody else's explanation for it because theirs is a lot more scientific and sounds more factual than mine. So I'm reading this off of intheglass.com. Philip Kingsley, who works at a 
a trichological clinic, which is a hair clinic, basically. Once the hair has grown past the scalp, it's technically dead tissue. It neither contains blood vessels nor nerves. Rinsing with cold water, therefore, has the same effect on your hair as rinsing with warm water does. Rinsing with cold water can constrict the blood capillaries in your scalp. As these capillaries carry vital nutrients to the hair follicles, in theory, it may actually be harmful to hair growth. Woo, well he said it you guys. And even if it does make your hair shiny for some odd reason, and you really just really want that extra shine in your life, just get a shine spray. It's a lot easier and sucks a lot less than washing your hair with cold water. So let's put that in the not true myth basket. Bye. Let's answer just a few more and then I'll be done. Okay, Kayla asks, gray hair is only caused by stress. No, it ain't true. I mean, no, I just don't believe that stress has anything to do with gray hair. I believe that gray hair is caused by just what your biological infrastructure is made like. Some people get gray sooner than others. Some people get more gray, some people never get gray. That's just different people's bodies. And it's like having blue eyes or having brown eyes. Like some people have it and some people don't. You don't get to say at all in how much grays you're gonna have or if you're gonna get grays at all. So no, stress has nothing to do with it in my my eyes so you guys can go off down below if you think differently but that's my opinion and take it or leave it honey so that's in the myth basket katarina says i've heard color takes better to dirty hair than clean hair i honestly have never heard of that no that doesn't make it doesn't make a difference that is a total myth okay Brittany says hey brad one myth i'm wondering was true or not is if it's bad for you to brush your hair while it's wet because it's more vulnerable and then can lead to split ends. I'd say yes. If hair's really tangled, I try to not brush it a ton when it's wet. I'll just brush gently over the sections of hair and try to get as much tangles out as possible, but then I'll dry it like 20% more and then continue to brush because hair does actually stretch when it's wet and is much more pliable than when it's dry. It becomes more hardened than when it's wet. So if you are brushing the hardened and hair strands, it's much easier. You can pull much harder without breaking the hair strands out. So I'd recommend not brushing your hair too much when it's wet and waiting until it dries a little bit at least and then going in and brushing those really hard tinkles out. So this is true. Yes, it is worse for you to brush your hair when it's wet. It's more vulnerable and stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, Stafford and Lynx says, is your hair really different forever once you dye it one time? Even if it's grown out all the way and it's completely gone, does this still apply to semi permanent color? No. Your hair is not forever different. Once you completely grow that color out, your hair is back to what it naturally was. And semi-permanent color, yes, it is different because it doesn't change anything within the hair strand. It is not taking any pigment out of your hair. It is not replacing any pigment in your hair. All semi-permanent color does is lay on top of the hair strand as kind of like a coating. Think of like a coating on a, I'm really bad with like relating it to things. Think of a coating on. It's like a candy apple. You dunk the candy apple in that red candy stuff and it turns red, but then you eat it off. <laughs> That's what happens with something permanent color. It wears off your hair strand, the more and more you wash it and it goes back to normal after a while, hopefully usually, unless your hair is really uh, porous and it just doesn't want to come off, then that sucks. Sorry, that's too bad. <laughs> but it, no, your hair's not completely changed forever. That's not true, that is a myth. Oh, okay, that is all I have time for today. I answered plenty of questions, I hope. Thank you guys much for watching today. Don't forget, uh, X Mondo is coming out soon. And if you guys haven't heard what X Mondo hair is, it is my new brand I've been working so hard on. You guys can watch the launch video below and you guys can follow the Instagram at X Mondo hair to get updates on what is happening and when release is. And follow me on Instagram, of course. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace. Boom. I'm done thinking for the day.